There was a woman named Jay who lived with her mother and sister named Kelly. One day, Jay who was swimming was told by Kelly that their friends named Yara and Paul were at their house, Kelly invited her to join them, but Jay refused because she already had plans to go with a man named Hugh. After finishing swimming, Jay dressed up and went out with Hugh for a date. You ever play the trade game? While waiting in line at the movie theater, Jay invited Hugh to play a game where they had to point at someone around them, they played the game in turns. When they got into the movie theater, it was Hugh's turn to point at someone, Hugh pointed at a woman in a yellow dress behind him, but Jay didn't see the woman at all, Hugh panicked and he immediately asked Jay to go back to the car. On the way there, Jay asked about the woman Hugh saw but Hugh didn't seem to want to discuss it anymore so they went to another place to continue their date. The next day, Jay went out with Hugh again and this time Hugh took her to a quiet place, where they started making out and having sex in the car. After they finished, Jay laid down in the car telling stories, but Hugh quietly approached her and smothered her with anesthetic. Shortly thereafter Jay woke up and she was already inside an abandoned building in a bounded condition, she started to rebel, but Hugh who was there instead walked around while holding a flashlight. Jay then asked what Hugh was doing and Hugh began to explain something, Hugh said that there was something that would continue to follow Jay, it could be anyone, and sometimes it would resemble people Jay cared about, Hugh also said that the thing was given to him by someone else and now he had transferred it to Jay in the car. Shortly after, Hugh seemed to find what he was looking for, he then took Jay to the side of the building and they saw a naked woman walking towards them. Hugh told Jay to make love with someone immediately so that the thing would transfer to someone else. If Jay died, the thing would come back to hunt Hugh. After a while the naked woman finally reached the building and walked towards Jay, Hugh then took Jay away while telling her not to go to a place where there was only one exit, they then left while the naked woman continued to walk slowly towards Jay. Shortly after, Jay was dropped off by Hugh in front of her house, at which time Kelly, Yara, and Paul happened to be outside playing cards, they were very surprised to see Jay staggering out of Hugh's car. They apparently reported it to the police so a lot of police officers and people came to Jay's house. Jay was questioned about what had just happened to her. And you've never seen the woman before. And after that, Jay was taken to the hospital for treatment. After her condition improved, Jay returned home. Kelly seemed very concerned for her sister and from the conversation between her and her mother, it was discovered that Hugh had used a fake name to rent a house, and he was no longer in the house. Meanwhile, Jay started to go back to school. Guttling across the floors of Silent Sea. While in class, she noticed an old woman in the distance walking towards her, Jay kept noticing the old woman and she kept getting closer to Jay. Feeling uneasy, Jay went out of the classroom, but while in the hallway she again saw the old woman following her and it seemed that the people around her could not see her. Jay then ran and went to the restaurant where Kelly and Paul worked to tell her about it, Jay then started to say what Hugh had told her, but Kelly still didn't believe what she said. Finally, Paul, who liked Jay, offered to stay at Jay's house so he could take care of her. That night Paul and Yara stayed at Jay's house. As Paul and Jay were talking to each other, there was the sound of breaking glass, and after Paul checked it turned out that the kitchen window was broken but no one was there. Jay went to check it herself and she found a creepy stranger walking towards her. She immediately screamed and hid in the room, her sister and friends then followed but the thing that was chasing her reappeared and this time it was a tall man. Jay immediately screamed and ran away from her house to a park. Shortly after, her sister and friends followed her there and at that time a neighbor named Greg coming towards them, they then told Greg that someone had broken into Jay's house. Jay who was scared said she didn't want to go back home, and she said she wanted to find Hugh. Get in my car. Someone's got to drive, right? Finally, Greg brought his car and took them all to the house that Hugh used to rent. After traveling, they arrived at the house that Hugh once lived in, the place was very dirty and unkempt, but from there they managed to find info on Hugh's school. They then went to his school and asked the staff there to show the yearbook of the students, thanks to that they now knew the real name and location of Hugh's house which turned out to be named Jeff. Shortly after, they arrived at Jeff's house and managed to meet him. Jeff again explained about the thing that always went towards its target, he also suggested that Jay immediately transfer it to someone else. After the meeting, they then went to Greg's house which he usually used for vacation, there Greg taught Jay to shoot using his gun, while the others just sat there relaxing. At noon they all returned to relax on the beach. As Greg went to relieve himself, someone appeared to be walking behind Jay and she was completely unaware. When the person got close, she pulled Jay's hair and Kelly was shocked, Jay tried to get away and Paul hit her with a chair. He hit her, but she knocked him down. They then fled to Greg's warehouse and Jay shot at the thing with a gun, 
The shot was successful, but the thing got up and walked towards Jay. Jay then locked the door but the thing managed to break it and broke in. Jay screamed in fear and ran away in Greg's car, but she got into an accident and was taken to the hospital. When she woke up, Jay saw that her friends, sister, and mother were already asleep waiting for her. It seemed that after that Greg and Jay decided to make love because Greg still didn't believe in ghosts that might follow him. Three days later, Jay was still lying in the hospital but Greg seemed to be freely living life as usual. Greg also said that he did not see any ghosts coming to him at all. The days went by and Jay was finally discharged from the hospital. She seemed to be still traumatized and always locked herself in her room. At night, Jay sat by the window of her room and saw Greg walking to his house wearing a white shirt. Jay knocked on the window to call him, but Greg did not seem to respond. Greg was then seen trying to enter his house but couldn't open the door, so he broke the window and entered through it. Upon seeing this, Jay knew that it was not Greg, she then ran to Greg's house and entered through the window while yelling at Greg not to open the door. At that moment Jay saw the thing resembling Greg's mother banging on Greg's room, while Greg thought it was his mother and he opened the door. As soon as the door opened, the thing jumped onto Greg's body and killed him. After seeing that Jay was scared and immediately ran away in the car, she went to a quiet place until she fell asleep there. The next day, Jay saw three men on a boat and Jay went to them. Jay then returned home and was able to relax for a while. One day, Paul came up to her and offered to move it to him, but she refused. Paul then saw a picture of Jay swimming and he got an idea. After sharing the idea, Jay went with Paul, Kelly, and Yara to a public swimming pool. Arriving at the swimming pool they began to prepare and install the equipment. After the preparation was complete, Jay entered the swimming pool and they waited for the thing to appear. They waited for a long time, but the thing did not appear. Finally after waiting, the thing appeared in the form of Jay's father. Jay immediately told her sister and friends that the thing had appeared and Paul told Jay to keep pointing at it. The thing initially just stayed by the side of the pool and looked at Jay, but he finally started moving and threw the thing at Jay. Jay's sister and friends were worried that Jay would get electrocuted, but she didn't. The thing kept throwing things at Jay and Jay kept trying to get away. Paul appeared to be holding a gun to shoot him, but his shot misses Yara's leg. Kelly then draped a cloth over the thing to identify its position, Paul then shot it in the head and the thing fell into the water. Jay then swam up, but the thing grabbed her ankle. Paul then shot it several times until it hit its head again and Jay was finally released. After climbing up, Jay looked back into the water and she saw red blood spreading in all directions. After that they took Yara to the hospital and she was treated there for a while. One day, Jay apparently decided to have sex with Paul. Paul who was now the target of the thing, went for a drive somewhere to look for a prostitute, he seemed to have transferred the curse of the thing to the prostitute he met by the roadside. After he did that, the thing no longer appeared to come to him or Jay, and he became closer to Jay. <laughs>